What is going on everyone? Dominic Echandy here bringing you back another video. I know I'm wearing the same outfit as the previous video in part one and that is because we're making a new video. What we're doing today is uh, going to be washing the cars. I wanted to kind of go over some of the products I have. I have some pretty cool stuff. You get to kind of see us wash the cars, do some detailing. The car has been neglected for quite some time. I think I got it washed once. It was a hand wash. I only do hand wash now, but I got it washed once at a, a car wash that does hand washes since I've got the car back and I'm usually very on top of that stuff. So Trevor and I are going to, uh, to wash the cars today. I kind of want to go over some of the products and things that I have. It's a carrying bag. I got two buckets, one for wash and one for after you, you know, run it across the sponge across the uh, the bucket. You put it in the second bucket, and then in each bucket is also a uh, dirt catcher, and these work really well. So we're going to be doing the double bucket method, and then here's the glory. This is where all the magic happens. So I have one that has all your tools, wax pads. I have the foam cannon. I have brand new uh, mitts. I have brand new drying towels. This is where all the action happens. Oh, that's sexy. This is all interior products. So I have things from like new car scent, um, glass cleaner, Meguiar's glass cleaner works for as well. This is for carpet and upholstery. I have the, all the interior brushes. These are all like fine crevice tool brushes. Um, this is for the upholstery and seats, another crevice tool, like I have some crazy, crazy stuff in here. Uh, exterior, you have your speed wipe, you have tire shine, a couple different kinds of tire shine, um, wheel brushes, multiple wheel brushes. Um, I have really, really good stuff. And then this is all like extras. This is like black on black spray, so like all your plastic black trimming, it makes it look brand new it's it's unbelievable so all kinds of stuff i got clay bars i got uh lube <laughs> and so uh yeah this is what we're gonna be playing with today along with where the hell is it i think it's what's in the box this is our brand new electric power washer where we'll be doing the foam cannon and uh, i actually have not used this yet i will link this specifically in the description all the other stuff uh, is a mix of like chemical guy stuff, which I really like. It's like mediocre price in comparison to like Adam's Polish. Adam's Polish is very heavily priced and, and it's all good products, don't get me wrong, but I feel like for the average person, anything chemical guys, even McGuire's I like, but uh, I stick to mostly those two brands. Get this all loaded, Trevor, into the two cars and we'll head down to the maintenance shop. We'll spray them down, we'll get started. It's a workout. It's cause you got a thick boy in here. Thick boy. We got the golf cart out. We got to run back to the house and grab a vacuum because the uh, tip that I want for the shock vac here is nowhere to be found. So we're on our way back to the house real quick with the golf cart. Is this one? <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah. You taking this with you or no? No. This is fun time with Trevor. Sup? There's a lot of stuff going on today. Someone is leaf blowing their leaves. Even though it's on a main street of a highway, it makes no sense. Oh yeah, that's, that's a lot better. Now you can't see where my eyes are looking. Oh yeah. I wash the filter and you're supposed to let it dry for 24 hours, but I use what better way to clean and dry a Dyson uh, vacuum than a Dyson blow dryer, you know what I'm saying? So I'd use the Dyson blow dryer. It's a little a little less wet, but it's still wet. Oh, but you're still good. I think it'll be okay. We're gonna throw it in the back there and hope that uh, we can make it. It has blinkers. Really? <laughs> <laughs> All right, so now we're gonna get set up and uh, we'll get started. First things first, we're gonna vacuum both cars and we ran back to the house with the golf cart and got a, uh, the Dyson, cause like I said, the other vacuum doesn't have the, uh, the attachment I like. So I'm gonna empty my car out, get it rid of any stuff I don't need in it. This is the perfect time to just get rid of stuff and then you start washing. I didn't, I didn't get you on that 
trying to put together the electric press of washer since I've never used it before. And then once we get that up and running, we can finally get started. Do the fun stuff. One eternity later. All right, so we had to put it together the electric power washer, which has taken a little bit of time, way longer than we anticipated. It was a little annoying, but it's up and running now. We figured everything out, so now I know how to use it in the future. Could just put it right together and we're good to go. Um, I was talking to Trevor here. We finally got the power washer and we had it compromise a little bit because of the length of the hose. We're not gonna be doing the cars down here. We're gonna wash them here, which is where I normally do. We were trying to do both at once, but we'll do it one by one and that's okay. Um, what I was telling Trevor, from what I've learned over the course of doing, you know, washing cars in my detailing, is start from the top and come down. When you wash, when you do the foam canning, you start from the top down. When you wash with the two bucket method, top down, and then the same thing when you dry, top down, and one motion. So like when you're hand washing with the mitts, you're gonna just kind of do one motion. You can go back and forth a little bit. They usually suggest just one motion like this. You can do a little bit of back and forth. You do a section, you move on, section move on. The same thing even when you wax the car, you start at a specific section, typically from the top down. So that's it. And uh, we'll let Trevor get to it. He's gonna start rinsing the car and a little foam cannon action. So today I'm gonna be using what's called uh, Clean Slate by Chemical Guys. And essentially what this is, is it, uh, strips any wax and any surface prep off the car. My car has not had a good wax in a long time, so we're gonna be doing that today, and I want it to be squeaky clean. And uh, Trevor's gonna use the same on his because the car has not seen something like this before, so that way he can also, uh, if he wants to, wax the car. But uh, yeah, we're gonna just kind of get into it and uh, see what happens. This is your now wash bucket, right? So we're gonna put soap in this one. So when you first start, you're gonna dive into this clean a section and then rinse with this one gotcha and then when and then squeeze it and dip it in here again that way there's less contamination on your paint soap fill up with some water give a couple whirls foam it up and there you have it a foam cannon, baby. I'm so excited. This is something I've wanted for so long. I have a uh, another one here too. That's like one that connects to a garden hose, which works fantastic. Like if you don't have the opportunity to get an electric pressure washer, it works great, but it does not foam like this. This is freaking awesome, dude. So now he's going to cover the whole car. We'll cover the whole car and uh, hand wash it. Get it real good. And then you rinse and that's it. Okay, this is cool. <laughs> this is cool. Yeah, it's awesome. The camera was a little tired, so I put it in the uh, inside to uh, get some AC, but we finished uh, Trevor's car, we washed it, did the foam cannon, and uh, the whole nine, now he's drying it. So now we're about to move the Stang up there and uh, get that one washed up. Nice and juicy. We're uh, flipping it over to the iPhone because the camera is not loving us today. It doesn't like the heat, which is okay. We'll just compromise and use the iPhone. But uh, the moment of truth, guys. I wanted this phone cannon for so long and I finally got it. And now I'm about to use it on my baby. You ready? Oh, yeah. Person. There's all kinds of small things, especially when you wash your car and you're super OCD like myself, that you're gonna see. But I mean, this car 
has 111,000 miles. So, I mean, it's kind of expected. The good part is I plan to get the whole car eventually painted. So I try to take as good care of it as possible, even in the condition it is, but uh, can't drive yourself nuts over that stuff. A lot of cool tools that I have, and one of them, a bug remover. So this is specifically for your front of your car. Get in there close just so they can see. There's uh, some bugs and stuff in there. So we're gonna take this and you're gonna just kind of run it through. Voila, no more bugs. You see. Yep, and then you can you can do that on like the whole like front end of your car with this. This is like a fantastic thing. One of the best purchases I made. I found this at Walmart for like a couple bucks. That's why it's good to get your car PPF, except uh, I didn't know that stuff when I first got the car. So like, you know, obviously I didn't do that and now I'm paying for it, but it's okay. You know, we're gonna do the best we can. Make it look good. Rinse it one more time, it should be all right. This you can use on any other spots that have a lot of gunk on it. That's where I've seen most of it today and we're on crunch on time a little bit, so. And we are back on the camera. How's it going? Good there? Good to go? Oh, we're recording. Right, cool. Butt plugs. Is there any specific way you want to dry the car? Same thing, top to bottom. Um, you don't want to particularly swirl. You can kind of go in a back and forth motion. Uh, now that your car is mostly clean, you can kind of just like this, but you don't want to swirl around because then it, when, you, when it dries, it leaves the swirls in your paint like that. Um, so you want to you want to go in one motion, kind of like this. I just work my way from top down. Dries better that way too. You catch everything as you're going top down. With the top down. You know what I'm saying? The car looks phenomenal. I haven't seen it look this good in so long and it just looks absolutely beautiful. Um, and so now I, I am going to wax it uh, normally. Say hi to the vlog. Hello. All right, well, why don't you come by and say hello? Okay, and I'll we'll, come by and say hello. And we'll plan all that. Okay. All right, bye. Bye. I right, wanna so, go out. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Which I think we should. I think it'll be fun. You down? Oh uh, yeah. Yeah? Yeah. Like food and stuff? Yeah, you had right. me a food. All right, cool. And stuff. So, it hasn't had a good wax in a while. I normally would clay bar it because it's been a while since I clay barred it and, you know, gave it the love, but um, again, because it's being repainted, maybe sometime next year. Uh, I'm just gonna wax it, and I wanna make sure that it uh, has the love and care that it needs and keeps that shine. So I use what's called uh, Chemical Guys Butter Wet Wax. Is that what it says on there? Mm -hmm. Butter Wet Wax. I've used this plenty of times. This is hands down one of my favorite ones. Um, ooh, I dropped the applicator pad. So you don't want any of that on your applicator pad. So this is now garbage. Luckily I have four more. Soiled it. Also chemical guys. Um, so what you're gonna do. If you wanna sponsor us. <laughs> yeah, for real. Um, what you're gonna do is you're gonna apply a little bit on here in sections, go around the whole car, then you take a microfiber cloth, wipe down the car and you should be good to go. That sm it smells delicious. Yeah, it's, it's phenomenal. Now, can you do this in any direction or do you have to still stay in the one um, direction? No pun intended. <laughs> uh, you don't particularly have to. You want to stay in sections. Uh, like I, the hood, I decide, or the roof, I decided to go in one one direction. Here, I went in one direction, and then over here, I'll probably go sideways. I I, I particularly would say yes. Um, I don't honestly know the legit answer. Um, I'm pretty good at detailing. I'm definitely not a pro, but I'm pretty good at detailing. Um, so I, I would go one direction. That's at least what I'm doing here. One other tip and trick: even coating. You can look, Trevor, come look closely. The camera is probably not gonna stand where I'm standing. See all that? You gotta make sure it's all even. Oh, uh, okay. Yep. There's like a fine gloss on it. Yep. Well, at least then you can see if you missed a spot. Yep, exactly. All right, so uh, we just wiped the whole car down. I did the wax and then I wiped it down with a microfiber cloth and it looks absolutely fantastic. I'm very happy with it. Uh, 
Um, we're running out a little bit of daylight, so uh, I didn't get a chance to do the inside. I am gonna do the inside tomorrow along with the uh, Jeep. I'm gonna watch the Jeep detail the whole thing from uh, the off-roading. So we'll get that uh, all squared away, clean and ready to go. But um, that's where I'm gonna wrap it up. We're gonna get some food and, uh, and grub. So uh, thank you for tuning in to yet another video. Make sure you drop a like, drop a comment. Let me know what you guys think. Uh, if you have any questions about any of the products that I use today. And again, I only use some of the products that I have. There's a ton of stuff that I have that I can use on all different kinds of cars. But if you have any questions about anything, please let me know. And uh, thanks for watching. We'll see you in the next one. Peace.